what a cool intro. All right, everybody. Uh, welcome to Budokai 2. Um, this one's kind of the black sheep of the Budokai series. Um, everybody likes Budokai 1 more for the story. And the Budokai 3 gameplay was, like, massively improved. But, um... This is still a fairly unique game, uh, even if it has a lot of flaws. Um, it has a very unique story mode. It, it has, like, a board game <laughs> story mode, so... I want to kind of just jump in and show that immediately. Um, might have to restart it. Let's see, because I did do the first one in preparation for this to kind of get used to the controls, so... This is stage two. Let's just go and just start over. Let's see. Uh, the voice acting has gone to complete dog shit in this game. Um, and there's no announcer, but I'll go ahead and just read the story off here. So it says, Long ago, seven Dragon Balls were forged, which when gathered together would summon the eternal dragon to grant a single wish. The quest for these magic orbs is a perilous one, one that Goku has faced all too often. For over time, the allure of the Dragon Balls has attracted a host of powerful villains. So let's see what villain we have this time. In order to protect the Earth and to prevent the Dragon Balls from falling into evil hands, Goku has thrown himself into battle. <laughs> you have a little chibi Goku in the background there on the Nimbus Cloud, that's pretty cool. And always, he is filled by a single burning desire to be the best. Alright, let's, let's try to be the best. Be the best that nobody ever was. The voice acting is complete dog shit this time. I don't know what the hell is going on, but listen to this. So, this is the planet where Kakarot is supposed to be. Yeah, and those Dragon Ball things have to be on this planet as well. <laughs> First, how about we exterminate the people on this planet with the Cybermen? <laughs> this soil should grow some fine Cybermen. <laughs> God, I don't even Reds, know if that's the same voice you actors. Want for Kakarot. I'll search for the Dragon Balls and deliver them to Master Frieza. Fine, it's done. Yeah, as you can see, the storyline is significantly different than the original Dragon Ball Z storyline. Raditz came to Earth with Nappa for some reason, and Frieza seems to already be on Earth, so I don't know what the hell is going on here. But, uh, it says you have to get the Dragon Balls before Nappa, so... Yeah, from what I can remember, there are objectives, and if you do fail the objective, I believe you have to completely start the level over, so... You get to choose one ally, you have two characters that run around the board at the same time. Um, when it's your turn, you get to actually choose how you move, and you know, when it's the enemy's turn, they, they move however they want, so... I'm gonna go TN here, um... If you beat Nappa, if you if you get the finishing kill on Nappa with TN, you actually unlock Yamcha, which I did earlier, you know, in, re in preparation for the recording of the video. So I'll just kind of show off how to do that. I'll pick TN here. TN is kind of cool in this a little bit. This move set is okay. Um, let's just go and just get started on this board. Um, I don't know why they decided to make it a board game, fighting game. I, I have no idea what the hell they were thinking. Like they must have been smoking some serious. Opium or, or whatever they have in Japan. Like, what the hell, man? But, um, you can move around the board. You can collect sort of little items to give you, like, little buffs and stuff. I don't know how long the buffs last, but I guess I'll get this sword with uh, Tien. Get a little offense boost. And yeah, the voice acting, at least for Nappa and Raditz, there is insanely bad. I don't know what the hell is going on. They don't sound the same as they did in Budokai 1. I don't know what the hell was going on with the voice acting in this one, but anyways, let's let's go ahead and start our first fight. Let's take on the Cybermen with Goku. Can't you talk for real? Uh, yeah, the storyline is pretty bad in this one. I don't know what the hell happened. Like <laughs> Budokai's one storyline is like legendary. It's such a great, you know, story. The way they represent it in, in that game, but in this one, it's like, what the hell, man? Characters don't act the way they usually act. Like, they have, like, different personalities. They sound like shit. And they decided to make it a board game for some reason. I don't know what the hell. But, um, anyways, the gameplay, though, in Budokai 2 is noticeably improved. As you saw, that was a real Kamehameha there. It wasn't, like, a yellow Hadouken, like in Budokai 1. And 
and <laughs> yeah, so I'm Super Saiyan immediately in the Saiyan Saga, so I'll explain that a little bit. So, and this one, um, you can kind of, you don't have moves given to you in the story mode like in Budokai 1. Instead, um, the moves that you've already collected, you, you are allowed to use in the story, so... I did a handful of runs through a World Tournament mode to get a few moves for the story mode, otherwise you just have the basic Kamehameha and that's it. So I, I unlocked a few moves for a few of the characters. Um, Super Saiyan is one of the moves you're able to just buy for some reason, so I got that already. Um, Tien over there I collected a fair amount of moves for as well, so I can actually show off most of his moveset. It's it's weird, but it's it's okay um, being able to bring some like high level moves into like the early part of the game because it does make it a little bit less tedious. You're gonna see we're gonna have to fight Nappa about four or five times. We're gonna have to fight Raditz like three times at least before he's finally officially dead. There's Nappa there making his way to the Dragon Balls, so let's go ahead and grab our little armor boost for Tien. Go ahead. This would be. A lot better in my opinion if all the characters had a, a 3D sprite like Goku here, but I mean Tien there and Raditz and everybody else they just have generic like their their portrait as as their board piece. <laughs> God. Such a weird game. I don't know what, what they were thinking with this. You really are a strange one, huh? Man, so let's let's kill another Cyberman with Goku. Now also, um, before each fight, you can actually look at all the moves that you have given to your character um, by pushing the X button. So as you can see, um, Goku by default has like the King Kai Fist times 20 this time. And in uh, Budokai 1, he'd had like King Kai Fist like 2 and then 5 and then 10 or something. And then he gets Super Saiyan. This time around, he just starts with King Kai Fist 20. And uh, Super Saiyan is pretty easy to get as well. Uh, but you can also see all your other moves. So... I filled out his move list uh, almost completely full uh, for this playthrough, so let's keep moving. Goku can also get Super Saiyan 2 and Super Saiyan 3 in this game, I believe, at some point, so I'll make an attempt to unlock those during the playthrough. Let's go ahead and take him to the Cyberman. But the gameplay has been uh, pretty fairly improved here. Um, juggle combos feel a lot better. As you can see, when you juggle the enemy, they float a bit more and their their hitbox kind of is more vertical which makes uh double combos a lot easier and it feels a lot better to play really so let me see here so you can also do kamehamehas in neutral like just just from a far distance like that you don't have to do it from a dialogue combo like in budokai one so means you can kind of zone a little bit in this compared to budokai one where it's just like just completely all just spamming combos Damn. <laughs> Trying to get a throw in here. Fuck, man. Here we go. And obviously the visuals are insanely improved. I mean, it's the, the, there's a lot of detail to this stage here. This is like Island Archipelago stage. Like, like they really did a great job enhancing the visuals and in, in the gameplay compared to Budokai One. So it just blows my mind that they would give you this weird board game story mode, like, what the hell is this? Like, like, come on, man. My guess is they must have saw Mario Party being, like, successful in some way, they, they decided to try and make a Dragon Ball Z version. <laughs> like, I don't know what the hell this is, but... Anyway, um, I want to try and use TN, but it's like, I, I'm trying not to let Nappa get to the Dragon Ball, so I think if he gets to the Dragon Ball, I think it's over. So, I guess... Let's... let's Say hi to Dinde here. I believe he heals you or something. Like, what happened to you? Oh, he gives you an extra life? Or I guess he just heals you. No, he does give you an extra life. Okay. So the way that this works is, as you can see on the left of every character's portrait, they have like a, a bunch of green squares. Um, if you die, the, square, the squares get darker and go away. So it's basically your lives. And, um... You know... Just try not to run out. You know, you, you can die a few times, but just don't run out. I, I'm, I'm assuming if Goku dies, you probably have to start over, so... I don't know. Thankfully, Goku's moves list is, like, really good. I mean, he's, he's not a bad character at all. 
Especially when you're using Super Saiyan here in the Saiyan Saga. I mean, it does make things a little bit easier. So, I think I think Super Saiyan Goku would just like like a light touch from Super Saiyan Goku would probably turn a Saiyan into like a green case. So, man, an aggressive little fucker. Here we go. Oh hell yeah. It also shows your damage numbers there as well, so you can actually see how much damage you're really doing with your combo. Like, it shows it under the enemy's portrait. Like, um, the upgrades they did to the gameplay in this are, like, seriously really good. Come on now. Let's try and show off some of these other moves. I got, what, Super Dragon Fist, which is, what, forward kick, kick, kick. Zanku Fist returns. A lot of characters have Zanku Fist in this. Krillin has it and Adult Gohan has Zanku Fist. <laughs> I don't know where they came up with that move. I, I could swear, I don't think they ever had a Zanku Fist in the show. But... Anyway, there we go. Some little fireballs on him, there we go. It's iconic Zanku Fist, which you can use anytime you want. So I got a new move called Meditation, so... Suppresses your energy consumption. I think that means if you go Super Saiyan, your, your meter decay is, like, lowered down significantly. So I'm trying to catch up to Nappa. If you if you get the final kill on Nappa with T and it would unlock Yamcha. I did do that earlier. I didn't unlock any other characters, though, but... I'm trying to do that. So Raditz just touched Dende and he just got an extra life. That's really shitty. Um, God, this game is really repetitive sometimes. Um, I mean, as you can see, we're, we're just basically spamming Cybermen fights over and over and over. I'm gonna have to fight at least Nappa at least four or five times. It's very repetitive. I don't know why they thought this was a good way to make this game. It's, it's very not well designed in my opinion. God. In Budokai 3, you, you can actually fly around and uh, explore the world somewhat. You can actually visit the cities a little bit in like a limited way. And then they brought that back in Tenkaichi 2. So, I don't know. The, the fact that... It, you go from this to that is like probably the biggest improvement possible. Going from Budokai 2 to Budokai 3. Back in the PlayStation 2 days, people really wanted like an open world Dragon Ball Z game, like being able to like fly and, and do stuff. And um, man, yeah, kind of like how when they, they do that in the show, like just being able to actually fly around and explore the world. So I think them doing the board game here was kind of their way of trying to do that because you do kind of like technically get to move around the, the board and the world, I guess, technically, but it's like a very shitty thing. But anyway, man, these Cybermen are fucking shitty. I really need Nappa to stop running away. Because I'm trying to fight him with Tien. God. So... What is this now? More Cybermen keep spawning in. I think finally they did. Finally, in a way, uh allow you to explore the world freely in Dragon Ball in Xenoverse 2. I haven't played that very much, but from what I understand, Xenoverse 2 actually does let you... It's like it's like kind of like a sort of, kind of, sort of open world Dragon Ball Z thing, almost like an MMO, kind of. It's, it's hard to explain, kind of, but that game does actually let you like fly around and explore stuff to, to an extent. Anyways, you finally get to play as Tien. Tien is alright. His moveset is a little strange, but kind of good. Tien's combos for his projectiles are pretty bad, but his, his uh, combos that lead into his melee finishers are actually pretty damn good. I'll try and show these off if I can. Oh, fuck. Come on now. Damn it, man. I don't know what it is, but Tien's, uh, his, his forward kick move, where he does this knee, he pops him up in the air a lot, and that makes him drop the combo. Whoa, holy shit. Damn. God. 
forgot that could happen. I didn't think it was going to do that. Fuck, well, I didn't mean to do that, but it worked. He let me get away with that. Yeah. Absolutely whooped his ass. Come on now. And the graphics are so much better than Budokai 1. It's really insane how, how improved everything is. It's just the board game thing ruins it. Here we go. Just absolutely smoke his ass. There we go. That, that's an insanely cool combo, too. Damn it, man. So, they changed the key blast things. You actually have to spend the sticks to buff the damage, which is kind of cool. Kind of. Um, I really don't want to wear out my controller, so I'm not going to try insanely hard to do it every time. But it, it's, they did add a bunch of mini games to the combat, too, in this one. Sometimes you'll find uh, some of the melee finishers lead to like a rock, paper, scissors kind of mini game, which is absolutely shitty, but. I don't know. It's It adds a little bit of variety. So I got fight a side man. I mean, it does get a little bit tedious with all these fights. I mean, God. They didn't have to have 50 billion Cybermen in the, on the board, like, like Jesus Christ, look at this. Alright, come on now. Huh. Man. I will say TN's really bad at finding small characters, like, like a lot of TN's moves lift, like, watch this, like, shit, if I can do it, he doesn't totally kill me. Like, look at that. It, see, he completely whipped mid-combo, because he, he can't hit small characters a lot of time. <laughs> Come on now, I'm gonna get killed by a Let's go. Damn it, man. I, I might get killed here. Jesus Christ, he's absolutely disgracing me here. Man... <laughs> Tien's fun, but I think he's probably crappy overall. I mean, it's, I don't know. There we, there we go, there we go, there we go. I gave Tien a special uh, trait, like like a skill where when I get when I get hit, it, it doesn't do the full damage to my health. It does some of the damage to my key. So Tien's Rod ability is actually insanely good with, with that move. Oh, here we go. Aw, oh, shot in the back of the head. Executed. Yeah, messing around with all the different traits and like character builds and stuff in this game is so addictive and fun. I mean, it's 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 the same for Budokai 1 and Budokai 3. You can get really creative with your character skills and stuff. Wait, a red Cyberman now? I haven't seen the red side of me. Hey, eyeballs! This time I'll finish you off for good. Don't you toy with me? <laughs> God. Dialogue is pretty bad too. I kind of get the feeling they they might have sort of wanted this to be like an actual fighting game instead of a. Uh, just to retelling the Dragon Ball Z story because the gameplay is so improved like it feels more like a competitive fighting game but they kind of neglected the storyline a little bit too much oh man god that move is so good um you can charge that and make it unblockable and half the time the AI does not know what to do they just sit there and take it like that Damn, CTN's melee finishers are insanely good. His melee combos. He can be good if he can get some good offense going. Hell yeah. He has another move. It's um, Key Blast Cannon. Kick, kick, four, kick, four, kick, punch. That combo rarely works. Let me try punch, four, punch, punch. Here we go. What the hell, man? What is this? Fucking shit, man. God, Nappa's face. <laughs> hey, come on, Nappa. 
Hell yeah. Get lit up. There we go. Let's bring it to him. <laughs> see if I can zone him out, maybe. No. Didn't kill him. Fuck, man. There we go. Oh, get fucked. Get fucked. Shoot his ass. <laughs> probably how Tien wishes that fight went in the show. I think I think it went a little bit differently for Tien in the actual show. Let's see what Goku says to Raditz if they walk up to each other. You're Kakarot, aren't you? What have you guys come to this planet for? What are we here for? We came for the things you call Dragon Balls. After we kill everyone on this planet, that is. Lend us a hand, would you, Kakarot? What are you going to use the Dragon Balls for? <laughs> that does not matter. Come with us and join Master. It's like Goku considered joining them, depending on so what they were going to wish for. So the guy's your boss, huh? I would never join anyone like that. And what's more, my name is Goku. Man, even Goku's voice acting was better in Budokai One. They must have done all the voice acting in like on like a weekend or something. They probably just just called everybody and said, "Hey, everybody, let's just record a few lines for this game." <laughs> God. We end up with this abomination of voice acting that we have in this game. And look at Roshi go. Come on, Raditz. And this is an awesome stage. I mean, it is. It, it also does add to the repetitiveness, though, fighting on the same stage over and over. God. I will say I like the way that Super Saiyan looks in this game. The, the way the hair looks, this this like dark golden color is really awesome. Like visually, this game is really great. Like I can't take that away from this game. The visuals are, are fantastic. Fuck, man. Oh, I'll just absolutely whoop his ass. Here we go. Come on, Raditz. Get trash over here. Shit, man. Here we go. Fuck, man. God. Damn it, man. Come on. He's gonna kill me. Come on, man. Shit, he's gonna really kill me. <laughs> what the hell happened there? The fight was going well for a while. He absolutely smoked my ass. What the hell? Damn, dude. Okay, well, I'm too tempted to... see what the red Cyberman does. So let's do that. Plus, we gotta still kill Nappa with Tien. Technically, I don't have to because I did already unlock Yamcha, but... Oh well, I still would like to do it in the video. Just kind of just show off Tien actually killing Nappa, even though there's like no cutscenes or anything. Let's see what we got here. Is this a red Cyberman? He is red. He has a full health bar. Is he a little bit bigger? I can't tell. Oh, pink one. Come on, man. Oh, there, there we go. <laughs> God. Come on, light him up, Tien. Come on now. Show him what's up. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> Just lays there and just takes it. So forward kick, kick, kick. That's that's the one that I need. There we go. See the AI doesn't know what to do there if you charge it up. Damn, dude, Tien is a monster. That that's a really sick combo for real. One now. There we go. Yeah. <laughs> 
Come on. Hell yeah. Executed. <laughs> Just shot him right in the back of the head. Okay, now we gotta bring it to Napa again. Miracle power. Your attack and defense increase at regular intervals. So what does that mean? Like, as the fight goes on, you just get stronger? Like, what, every, like, 10 seconds or something? That could be cool. It's just this game is so vague on, like, like how much of an attack and defense boost you get from all this stuff. Hey, you're tough. You're still alive. But not for long. <laughs> God. Oh, no. This is the end of the line for me. Like, why would TN be scared? He just whooped Nappa's ass, like, two or three times in a row. Come on, Nappa. Rematch number 50 with Nappa. Let's see what you got. There we go. And... Fuck him up, Tien. Fuck him up. Hell yeah. Man. Man, come on. Tien's moveset is really fine. I mean, it's, it's not bad at all. Well, it, it does have some problems, but... I don't know. He's, he's fun to use if you, get, if you play around with him a little bit. He has, like, no juggle potential at all, though. Like, like Tien has, like, no juggle combos at all. As far as I can see. Damn, what the hell is going on with the AI? Sometimes the AI just snaps and just absolutely whoops your ass. Like, what the hell is this? He, he wasn't doing this good before. Now he's, now he's, like, suddenly just absolutely beating my ass. There we go. Fuck yeah. Oh, come on now. Hell yeah. <laughs> Man. Nappa should take a break. I mean, Nappa's getting fucked up pretty bad. What is this now? Got Yamcha's Kamehameha. That's pretty cool. Nice. Nappa's dead. Okay, what do we got here now? What's Raditz gonna say? You are an embarrassment to our entire family! Die! <laughs> This time, it's my turn to defeat you! And Braditz beat up Super Saiyan Goku here. That's fucked up. It's funny how he, he said that he's an embarrassment to the family, but Raditz didn't even say that he's Goku's brother at all up until that point. If I were Goku, I'd have been like, what the hell are you talking about? Alright, come on, uh, Raditz. Now that Nappa's dead, I'm just gonna try and get the, the Dragon Ball as soon as possible. Jesus, man. Man, Raditz is really going crazy here. There we go. Shoot him in the face. Alright, get fucked, Raditz. So let's just try and get the Dragon Ball now. Let's see if that'll end the map. It's a one star ball. Last time I played this it was a five star ball. Alright! I got the Dragon Ball! Time to go looking for the next one! Hell yeah. Just leave Raditz there. So I believe on this so the way that you unlock characters in this game it is like well, I'll I'll say it after this, but have been done in. I guess it's up to us, the Ginyu Force, to take care of this once and for all! Ginyu's voice acting is kind of okay in this. He's not like bad like some of the other ones, like Raditz and Nappa, but... 
you know, if you beat certain characters with certain characters, like if you get the finishing kill with a specific character, that's how you unlock the characters in this game. I mean, I will say that does add a lot of replay value to the game, because I don't think it's possible to unlock every single character in one playthrough. To the best of my knowledge. Um, I don't know if it really matters who you pick in this one, so I'll just go... I guess, uh, man... I'll pick Krillin here. I believe I've unlocked a few moves for Krillin, so... The music is once again fantastic in this game. You know, Kenji Yamamoto, I believe, came back. Probably just posted a hell of a lot of songs that he heard on the radio and put them in the game. <laughs> God. Even though the music is, like, all plagiarized, still, the, the guy can make a good soundtrack. Like, he knows how to remix music for, for a Dragon Ball Z game. Let's see what Prakum has to say here. Krillin just says, I may not live. Alright, well... Have a little bit of confidence, Krillin. <laughs> so, I didn't fill out his moves list, really, but it looks like I do have a, a couple of moves here. So I have Destructo Disc, Punch Punch Back Punch Punch. I can unlock potential to power up, so... Krillin's famous catchphrase, I may not live. <laughs> God. And get the iconic challengers theme from Budokai. And this stage looks absolutely incredible too. I mean, graphically this game looks unbelievably good. Damn. Was that track? That, that actually hit him and he, and he like dodged. Man, come on, Krillin. Whoa, what the hell was that? Come on, Raccoon, you retarded ass fuck. Jesus Christ, three hit key blast combo? Oh, get fucked. Damn, Krillin's all right. Hell yeah. <laughs> so I believe if you step on that purple one down there, it cuts your health in half. So I don't know why anybody would ever really want to do that. I believe if you kill Raccoon with Goku, I believe uh, you unlock Raccoon. I'm not a big Raccoon fan, but I will unlock him just for the sake of completion purposes. Let's see what they say here. Hey, you! You must know about the Dragon Balls. Tell me about them. Who are you? Are you in league with that Frieza guy? You've got some nerve not calling him Master Frieza. Maybe I ought to reprimand you a bit. The Ginyu Force! <laughs> Uh. All right, let's give it to Raccoon here. It's loading screens with Roshi. Come on, Raccoon. <laughs> Man. Shit, man, come on. Damn it, dude. Come on, Raccoon, what the hell is this now? Good lord, man. I lost my Super Saiyan form. Shit. God. Just trying to just get him with some basic combos here. Come on, man. Oh, nice. I got him with the Super Dragon Fist. Cool. 
shit, man. Man. Jungle combos feel so good in this one. So if I kill him one more time with Goku, I believe that will unlock Raccoon to play as. So I'm gonna try and get that done. Um, before I kill Raccoon, let's let's see where the Dragon Ball is anyway. Oh, I guess it's not a objective on the map. I guess it's just somewhere on the board. So it says it's like below me. So it must be near Frieza then. Right, let's go ahead and kill Raccoon. <laughs> God. You better understand. You cannot defeat me. Don't go getting all happy and full of yourself. You just won by a fluke. All right. At this point, I'll just have to show you something I've been saving. Good lord. All right. Let's finish off Raccoon here. Unlock him. <laughs> God. He's only slightly retarded. <laughs> Fuck, man. <laughs> Shit. Whoa. Somehow my move beat his. I'll get fucked. Come on now. Shit, man, what the hell was that? <laughs> Come on now. Damn it, dude. There we go. Take this 5 million hit combo. Damn. <laughs> God. No, come on. Fuck, dude. There we go. Alright. Now we get to play as everybody's favorite character, Raccoon, I'm assuming. Unlocked Raccoon. Alrighty. Got rage. So in the first 15 seconds, your attack is boosted. It's just I wish I told you by how much. It's probably good for world tournament mode where the matches are really short. Can you just take my money? Wow. All right. Let's go whoop his ass with Goku. Let's see what they have to say to each other. See what he's got. One thing they should have copied from Mario Party is items like that that can like let you move further or like power you up. It's like items that you can hold on to and use whenever you want. Man, Captain Ginyu is insane. Come on now. Ginyu, what the hell, man? What the hell is this? Get off me. Shit, man. Ginyu's strong-ass motherfucker. He's got his iconic milky cannon. Come on now. Damn it, dude. You're gonna get him? <laughs> okay. 
<laughs> All right, he just let me have it there at the end. That's fine. Just sat there and accepted death. <laughs> God. Let's fight him with Krillin. Let's see if they have any unique dialogue. Krillin says, once again, I may not live. Well, <laughs> come on, Krillin. You may live. You ever thought of that? Maybe Krillin wants to die. <laughs> God. It says, I may not live and has an exclamation point instead of three dots. Oh, hell yeah. Too bad I got fucked from that. Krillin, come on, man. Shit, man. Krillin's arms are so small. God, all my meter gone. Here we go. Oh, get fucked. There we go. I wonder if the destructive disc is blockable in this game. A lot of Dragon Ball Z games, it's not blockable. Come on, Krillin. Hell yeah, get fucked. Shit, man, come on. I lost my power up. God. They need to do what id Software did with E1M1 and, and like find a way to remix this song in a way that's like not copyright infringing. Cause this music track is too good to not ever use again. I mean, it's so good. Just, just remix it in a copyright safe manner. I think if I would have killed him with Goku, I would have unlocked him. So that's I, I kind of fucked up. I'm guessing if they're stunned like that, if they got the the scribbles above their head, that must mean you're you're gonna do two kills on them if you if you knock them out. So Dragon Ball is to my left. So what is it right here? I believe he pushed square to pick it up. He just picked up whatever that is. What is that? Is that a character? What the hell was that just now? Okay, how do I pick up the Dragon Ball? Oh, can I give Krillin new moves? Let's see. Krillin has Zanku Fist. Goku's iconic move. Let's give Krillin... This Dende's recovery move is insanely good. I gave it to Tien and he takes like no damage. This is just makes you take less damage. I guess I'll do that. Just a straight up damage reduction. Okay, well, how do I how do I pick up the Dragon Ball? It says it's right here. Can I not pick it up? It's like I'm like right on it. Or does Goku have to pick it up? Let's let's just move anyway. Okay, how do I pick it up? Oh, there we go. X and then square. Nice five star ball. All right, let's let's show Frieza what's up with Krillin. Let's get revenge. Obviously, this fight didn't go in Krillin's favor the first time in the in the show, but let's see what happens here. I may not live, man. No one lives forever. God. <laughs> Fuck, man. Poor Krillin. Oh, different music? Frieza has four health bars, man. What the hell? 
Shit, man. Frieza looks a lot better in this than Budokai 1. Damn, Krillin is absolutely fucking up Frieza. Oh, come on. Shit, man. Shit, come on. Oh, come on. Come on, Frieza. Oh, get thrown. Take the throw. It's like Street Fighter V, just take the throw. It's it's optimal. I swear. Fuck yeah. Oh, they can block the Destructor Disc in that. That sucks. Come on. <laughs> Come on now. What the hell is that move? Man, Frieza seems really cool. I would play Frieza in this. If this had like online, I would play, I would play Frieza. Come on now. Take the throw. Fuck, dude. There we go. Yeah, there we go. Krillin supremacy. Krillin's just out here just trying to die. Frieza can't even kill him. Okay, so I got the Dragon Ball, so... Was there another Dragon Ball in the last stage, I wonder? There must have been. Maybe, I wonder. But I want to kill Frieza with Krillin. I mean, with Goku. What do we got here? Piccolo's Regeneration. So this is... This is a thing for Piccolo, where you take less damage if you use your key, so... It's interesting. Alright, let's show, show them what's up with Goku. Let's see what they say to each other. So you're Frieza, huh? You're a lot more puny than I thought. I see. And you're a lot stronger than I thought. I'm a little bit surprised that there's someone in the world stronger than Captain Ginyu. But you are still no match for me. Maybe, but we don't know that yet. <laughs> You've got a lot of nerve. Let's take it to Frieza. Defeat the enemy. Come on, Frieza. What do you got? Although I just beat him with Krillin, so hopefully this is like not insanely hard. I am playing on hard mode, by the way. Um, this game, like Budokai 1 by default, tries to put the difficulty on easy mode. And I found this game is actually a little bit easier than Budokai 1, so I just I put it on hard mode, and that seems to be the sweet spot. Fuck, man, come on. Fuck, oh, come on. Like, hard mode is, like, not impossible. Like, they don't just, like, perfectly punish and react to everything. But, I mean, they, they do make you play the game kind of properly. Ah. Oh, he's gonna... Jesus Christ. Man, why am I so bad with Goku? Like, what the hell? <laughs> I guess I, I must be so overconfident that I'm in, like, Super Saiyan form. Like, think I'm just gonna guaranteed win. Man, come on. I'm out of meter. Shit, man. <laughs> Completely got my ass kicked. He flung me across the stage. Alright, let's let's like Krillin. Show Goku how it's done. <laughs> come on. May not live. Every time Krillin walks into a room, that's what he says. Come on, Krillin. You might live, Krillin. Oh, 
shit, man. Well, Frieza kept his life pretty much, so that's good. He doesn't have blue life anymore. Hell yeah. Oh no. Let's do Zanku Fizz, forward punch, punch, kick, kick. Thank you, Fist. Oh shit. It's rock, paper, scissors. Hell yeah, snap his back. There we go. Dude, Krillin's a beast. What the hell? What is this? That's my only melee finisher, is Thank you, Fist. Alright. Uh, forward punch, punch, forward punch, punch. Fuck, man. Hell yeah. <laughs> Take it. Shit, man, is that plus? What the hell was that? Come on now. Shit, dude. What the hell? Tried to get fancy with a throw, but he started completely beating my ass. So I think I just gotta knock him out one more time. I'll try to do it with Goku. Hopefully I can. So if I could get to Dende there, I could give Goku an extra life, but it looks like that's not gonna be possible. No, what the hell, man? Come on. What's that next to Frieza's spaceship there? He's got like a fire thing with a zero next to it? What's going on there? Frieza wants to fight Krillin. Oh. Well, I don't, I don't want to fight him with Krillin, so... Okay, there we go. Come on, Goku. Do I have Goku, like, fully decked out with, like, all his moves and, and stuff? Let's see. Z-Sword. What is this one? Attack power-up. Well, maybe I need a defense power-up. Meditation would be really good. I mean, is there anything I can get rid of? I kind of need all of these. Well, I guess I don't need Zanku Fist, so I'll get rid of that. Let's put on meditation so I'm not losing meter like rapidly. All right, let's take it to him. This is, does not look very good. Well, just got Dende healing. It'll probably be all right. Maybe I should have kept Zanku Fist. Maybe the combo for that is better than the other stuff that I have. Come on, Frieza. <laughs> Come on. Fuck, dude. Shit, man, these unblockable moves. Damn it, dude. Why am I still going with Krillin? Like, well, why, why do I get killed with Goku and, like, not the other characters? God, these unblockable moves. Or kick, kick, kick. Hell yeah, there we go. Man, these stages are beautiful in this game. The, the game looks great. I don't think Budokai 3 reused a lot of these stages either. I think some of these are like unique to this game. Based on my memory. But man, some of these, these Budokai 2 stages look fantastic. There we go. Get fucked, Frieza. Super Saiyan ass kicking. 
come on. Shit, man, come on. Hell yeah. <laughs> man. It's a little close. Super Dragon Fist once again for Goku. Says, ugh, I can't believe I, Frieza, was attacked and hurt by those scum of the earth idiots. Don't even think this battle is over. Why would he say scum of the earth? Like, does he even know what earth is? <laughs> Members of the Ginyu Force, we're leaving here for now. Get the fuck out of here. Fuck off. Just can't get away, Frieza. What I get? Oh, I got this this level now. I got this stage. That's pretty cool. Let's see what board is next. I believe I've read online. I believe there's nine, but I, I'm not 100% sure. So we're on Namek now. He arrives in a sand spaceship. It says Teehee, I was waiting for you. Why would he laugh like a little little girl? Says, got me back on the earth, but your luck won't last forever. I'm I'm better than ever. I'll kill you all, you scum of the earth. He really loves saying that in this game for some reason. Something happened back on the earth. Freeze is looking only at Kakarot. <laughs> Last like Michael Jackson he says, he he. I was right to send only Nappa and Raditz. I have a feeling something. Then Vegeta says, T he. When would Vegeta say that? <laughs> God. They must have got people that didn't watch the show to make the story mode for this game. Okay, let's choose our ally here. So, I believe if you allow Krillin to die here, I believe... You unlock Super Saiyan naturally for Goku, but I already have it, so... Piccolo might be cool. Um, Gohan is really, really fun in this game. He's, like, actually super fun and good. The, the adult Gohan, that is. So... Man, let's try Piccolo. I, I wonder if he has any unique dialogue. He probably doesn't, but let's just pick him anyway. So there's Vegeta. All right, um, I'm really tempted to see what that Mr. Popo thing is down there, but let's see what this item is before Vegeta grabs it up. Moonlight. Attack power increases for a fixed time period. Can only be used by Raditz and Nappa. Interesting. Let's see what this Popo thing is. What is that, a shop or is it a warp? Oh, I want to get the Dragon Radar though. So it goes Ginyu. What are these buttons with the fire symbols on them? I wonder what, what those do. Look at that fish in the background. Kakarot, it's you! This is perfect! Before I defeat Frieza, I will dispose of you! Vegeta, this isn't the time for us to be fighting! <laughs> if we don't get rid of this Frieza guy, things are going to get awful! Bull shaking their fist. Grumble all you want, but do it after you fought me! Bringing on Vegeta. Prince of the Little Bitches. More like it. Let's see what Namek looks like in Budokai 2. I really can't remember. Looks pretty cool. Fuck. Uh, shit, man. Come on, man. What the hell was that? Shit, man. Oh, get fucked. There we go. Come on, man. Shit, man. Yeah. 
<laughs> Come on. Hell yeah, you fucked. Man, you gonna use Gala Gun again? Like, what the hell, man? Shit, man. Do you have enough Gala Guns or something? <laughs> Come on. Guess you really like using Gala Gun. So I read online if you kill Vegeta with Goku, you actually do unlock Vegeta. So let's let's make an attempt to do that here. Come on, Vegeta, what you got? Have you decided to fight me seriously yet, Kakarot? Yeah, it looks like I really will have to settle things with you first. Let's see what you got, Vegeta. Not 100% how things went on Namek, but you know, whatever. God. Damn it, that combo is so inconsistent. Goku's punch, punch, kick, kick, kick combo. Fuck, man. Shit, man. There we go. It's a very good combo. Man. The tracking on the power moves in this one is so good. Like, like you'll see people dodge and then we'll still hit them. Yeah, how do you like it? Cheap spamming prick. Come on, man. Shit. What is this now? Oh, damn. Wow. Shit, Vegeta. Come on. Why did the... What? Man. Come on. Here we go. Woo. Sometimes when you're in the air, combos drop, like, in weird ways. Like, I don't know. It feels so weird. So we got him. I think we unlock him now, right? Hell yeah. There we go. Now finally plays Vegeta, which is pretty cool. Got Nosedive Crash. Gallic gun. So they give you the moves that needs to like get started so you can actually play him kinda. That's pretty cool. He came back? Was he on my Just side? Once, I'm going to help you out. Otherwise I'm afraid we won't beat Frieza. Wow, okay, so Vegeta is on my team. Someday I will settle the score between us. Yeah, I gotcha. Okay. Let's look at Piccolo's moveset. I have, like, very few good moves for Piccolo, but oh well. Um, I can't sync with Nail, I believe. Yeah, I already have that equipped, so... Piccolo's Regeneration. So Piccolo's Regeneration is better than the Dende Recovery because it takes one less uh, thing on your, your thing there. This makes your attack and defense increase at regular intervals. I want to try that. Piccolo looks disgusting in this game. He's like a sewage green color in this game. I do not know why. They made Piccolo a really nasty green color. I, I'll try to get in a fight with him to show it. Raccoon. Raccoon, huh? Can you force? Raccoon! Huh? <laughs> God. 
I just realized I did not equip Vegeta's moves, so I, I probably have, like, no moves at all. I have literally nothing. I, I'm probably fucked because I didn't equip any moves for Vegeta. Oh, well. God. Let's see what Raccoon has got here. Fuck, man, come on. Shit. That's not a natural combo. That really sucks balls. Okay, that works. That works. So it's better than nothing. God, Raccoon is just a strong motherfucker. Okay. Come on now. <laughs> Man. Fuck, dude. I just fuck my shit up, Raccoon. That's all right. Good lord, man. Man, it's a good thing that killed because I dropped that combo too. Alright. Down goes Raccoon. Um, let's see quick Vegeta's moves. Give him like at least a little something. Sand Heritage, why can I not equip that? Oh, that's after you use a Sensu Bean, okay. Um, mm. So I'll give him this, and then... Oh, that can't be paired with the Dende's Recovery. I mean, I don't really need any of these other ones. I guess I'll do Sirius and Rage. I don't know. Hopefully that's enough. I want to see what Popo does. Like, I can't get over there. Let's have Goku. Fuck up Ginyu. Let's just kill Raccoon. Just, just get his retarded ass out of here. <laughs> That's enough warm up exercises. Now, let's get started. Darn, this freak is tough. <laughs> Man. Key is down to zero. Fight with zero key. Well, I, I just equipped those moves for like no reason. I guess I can't use any moves again. That's what the fire zero thing means. It means you, you have no zero. That's what it means. Okay, I see. Can I charge it up? Can I get some? I can get some. So. Fuck, man. I wanted to go Super Saiyan and I just realized I don't have it. <laughs> Fuck, man. It's pummeling the shit out of me. Hell yeah. Come on now. Come on now. Man, they really let you get away with that a lot. <laughs> Man. Shit, man, that's not- that was a natural combo in Budokai 1. <laughs> I wonder why they would nerf it like that. Thankfully that works. Oh yeah. Gallic gun up the ass. That's almost cannon. That's how that's how Vegeta killed him. Energy beam directly up Raccoon's asshole. Gohan called Super Buu a retard. He should have called Raccoon a retard because I think he is retarded for real. So I got a new move for Vegeta, thankfully. Frieza's powering up. Is he gonna become Golden Frieza? 
Something apparently he could always do, he just never wanted to. Just had to train to become Golden Frieza. Would you mind not getting in my way? Hey, look at that pose for Ginyu. I don't want to fight for no reason. <laughs> Why are you laughing? Because you're so strong. Because you have so much more power than I do. Is he gonna switch bodies with me? Do I gotta play the rest of this as Ginyu? Can't be defensive, keep attacking. This might be good if they can't block everything. I can probably just absolutely whoop their ass. Let's see. Why do you start so far away on Namek? Like, what, why? Fuck, dude. This is actually not in my favor, this, this no blocking thing. Well, maybe not. Fuck you, dude. That's so cheap if you can't block. Oh, yeah. Shit, man. Should kill, hopefully. <laughs> nice. Yeah, punch that air, Goku. It's an item up there. All right, let's see what Popo does. What are you gonna do, Popo? It just warps you a few spaces to the left. Let's give Vegeta his nose dive crash move or whatever it's called. Final bash. Punch forward, punch, punch. Fight a Frieza with Vegeta if we can. Goku says, sorry, but you are no match for me. Let's see. No match for Goku. Off, man. Shit, man. Holy hell. Sometimes the AI just goes so crazy. It's like like some rubber band AI or something. Like sometimes it just absolutely whoops your ass. Alright, what's his other moves? I got rid of, uh... Zanku Fist. I probably should have kept that. Come on, man. <laughs> Shit, come on. Man, fuck can you, dude. Oh, here we go. Try not to break my controller doing this. Gotta spin the stick like crazy. There we go. Come on, man. Just, just take the throw or take the move that will kill you. There we go. Fucking dead. Special fighting pose three for Bakum. Forward kick, 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 kick. I kind of miss the comments on the back. Like, they have a comment button on the... Or they have a comment section on the back, but they don't have any, like, phrases from the characters in regards to the moves. This is a defensive vest for everybody.
Freezer's just gonna stand there. Says the Dragon Ball is where Frieza is standing, so I guess I gotta hit, like beat him and then knock him off the Dragon Ball. Try and beat him with Vegeta. But actually, it says if you kill Frieza on the stage with Vegeta, you'll unlock Super Saiyan Vegeta. So I'm gonna try to do that because I'll be an insane buff for Vegeta. Frieza. You'll pay for this. Did you hear me, Vegeta? I'm going to kill you one inch at a time. Go ahead and try to. If you think I'll be done in that easily, you're terribly mistaken. <laughs> Listen to yourself. Apparently, you have forgotten how terrible I can be. Let me refresh your memory. So he's gonna kill him one inch at a time. That sounds kind of sexual. God, it's a little bit gay. But uh, let's give it a try. God, one inch at a time. Frieza's dialogue is so weird in this game. It says scum of the earth like 50 billion times too. Fuck man. This is bad. My health is dipping like this. Like what the hell is this? This is impossible man. Fuck this. God. Fuck, man. Shit, man. God, okay. Man, that fight was bullshit. Okay, well, I want... I do want to fight with Piccolo, but I don't want to kill Frieza with, with Piccolo, so... Can I just end my turn without moving anywhere? Okay, good. Hopefully I can get the Dragon Ball with uh, Vegeta on my next turn. Stand here with Piccolo. He didn't fight Vegeta again. I don't know if I should let him win or what. I, if I kill him, will he die or what? You again? Don't tell me. You're a Saiyan too? Yeah, I'm a Saiyan from Earth. I see. I once killed a Saiyan on planet Vegeta that looked like you. You're his son, huh? How fun. You'll get to share his fate. For the sake of all the people you killed, I'm going to beat you! Alright, well let's let's fight Frieza here. I guess I'll beat him. I really hope I don't kill him though, because I want to unlock Vegeta for... or Shit, I want to unlock Super Saiyan for Vegeta. Alright, bring it on. Alien fuckhead. Come on, man. Come on now. Damn, I really wish that was a real combo. I mean, it worked there. Fuck, dude. Come on now. Come on. There we go, there it is. Shit, yeah. I wonder if that combos if you hit him in the back. I mean, it, it must combo. Shit, dude. Oh, 
Come on now. God. Fuck, dude. <laughs> I died with Goku and like nobody else. Like, what the hell? Man, all right. Piccolo time. Piccolo says, I will be your opponent. <laughs> Man. So look at this disgusting sewage ring color for Piccolo in this game. Like, what the hell? Maybe they thought he was too bright green in Budokai 1, so they, they darkened him, but this is like way too dark. He looks nasty. He looks like he needs a liver transplant. Let's see if we can take it to Frieza, though. And Piccolo's tall in this game. Holy shit. It's kind of bulky. Come on, man. Shit, dude. Man, Piccolo sucks ass. Forward punch, forward punch, punch, forward punch. Wow. Shit, man, that was close. <laughs> Did he die, though? No, he still has two hit points left, so, Fe so Vegeta can kill him. I want to pick up this Dragon Ball. Nice, three Dragon Balls now. That takes up your move, though, so Vegeta can't do anything else. No, I don't want to fight. Shit, man. I wanted to move away. You are certainly a persistent one. You're beginning to agitate me. All right, enough warming up. Now I'll be taking this seriously. So am I. Let's see what happens. I mean, I think if I die, I think he's gonna straight up kill me, so I think I have to win. Alright, let's take it to him. If we, if we kill him, hopefully he doesn't just straight up die. But I don't want to die, and I don't want to have me lose, like, my, like, <laughs> like, progress. I don't have to start all over. Come on, Frieza. Fuck, dude. Shit, man. <laughs> I just gotta do only that combo. Dude, fuck Frieza, dude. Hell yeah, here we go. Super Saiyan ass kicking. Shit, man. Come on now. No matter what you do when they do that unblockable move, it's like if you try to dodge, you're gonna get hit. If you try to punch them out of it, they, they just power through you. Come on, man. Frieza is insane. Shit, dude, am I dead? What, what happens now? What happens now? I, am I dead? No, I'm not dead.
Damn, dude, I don't know what to do then. I mean, it's if he if he fights Goku, then I'll have to kill him with Goku, and then I can't get Super Saiyan for Vegeta. <laughs> I just want to try to use Piccolo to collect some items. All right, what's it gonna be? Come on, fight Vegeta. Thank you. Nice. This is the end, Frieza. Prepare to taste oblivion. Taste oblivion. Curses! How are you doing this? You're nothing but a monkey! But if that's how you want to play, prepare to meet your doom, Saiyan! Yet another one where the health keeps dropping. Let's do our best. This is really looking kind of tough here. If I don't kill him here, I don't know what's going to happen. Play shitty ass Vegeta without Super Saiyan form. Come on, man. The, the health lead means nothing. Frieza, come on, man. Here we go. <laughs> there we go. So, do I get Super Saiyan or what? Or he's not dead for some reason. I guess he wasn't technically stunned there. Chi Chi's Wish. Combat spirit keeps improving. What is this? Can be used by Teen Gohan, Gohan, Goten, and Great Saiyan Man. But what, is, what does that mean? Combat spirit keeps improving. It's interesting. I'll, I would have to look that up online to see what that actually does. Alright, come on, Vegeta. No, man, I... Shit, man, I, I didn't mean to do that. <laughs> he says, I will not be destroyed alone. I'll take you with me, man. What the hell are these voice lines for the characters? Vegeta says, I will not be destroyed alone. I'm taking you with me. Well, let's let's try to just kill only him, if possible. Come on now. Oh yeah, good start. Man, Frieza has so much health in this game, dude. Hell yeah. Come on now. Dead? No. Kill? Shit. Wow, man. So close every time. If we get Super Saiyan for Vegeta, that'll be amazing. Hell yeah. Super Saiyan for Vegeta, nice, nice. Darn it, darn it all! <laughs> God. But I am not going to die. You are the one who will. I'm going to destroy this planet. It's like they got like a third-party translator, and then they just have the people voice the weird lines. Can I play on Namek? That's pretty awesome. So I guess this will be the Android Saga next. This is few. We barely made it. Doctor Jiro. <laughs> I finally found you, Goku. Hey everybody, thanks for watching part one of my Budokai 2 playthrough series. It was a lot of fun getting through the first three boards here. We're gonna be going through the Android Saga next in part two, which is gonna be coming out any day now. Don't forget to subscribe to be notified as soon as that video goes up. Thank you all for watching, and I'll see you in the next video or stream. I'm out. Take care everybody.